Hey guys, it's Tixie here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to be building my personal favourite and in my opinion the best KSP45 class setup here in Black Ops Cold War. So here we are then guys, getting into the class setup. So as always, just a very quick overview so you can see what I'm running. But like I say, it's literally the same every time I, I build a class in this game. It's a five attachment class, so initially you want to start off with the muzzle and use the agency suppressor. Normal kind of stuff here guys, um, obviously you do lose a bit of effective damage range. You gain obviously the muzzle flash concealment and the vertical recoil control, but ultimately this is just to keep you off the radar. That's the type of player I am. Use ghost, use ninja, take long routes, take sneaky routes, you know, try and stay off, stay off the radar, get on the flank, and that's why you want to have the agency suppressor on just to help you, uh, you know, stay off the radar. For the barrel, you want to run the task force. Now I know there's a lot of cons here in terms of the recoil control and the maximum starting ammo. We are going to make up for that a bit later on in the class setup, but it gives you maximum damage effective damage range and good bullet velocity and honestly this gun up close is so good so with this added damage as well it's kind of one burst at a push two burst especially sort of close to medium range gunfights then for the under barrel you want to run the field agent grip again you're going to lose some shooting move speed here which i know isn't always great of smgs but trust me you don't really notice it too much with this class and you gain back that recoil control that we lost with the barrel then for the magazine, you want to run the 48 round fast mag to get the maximum amount of ammo you can get. And as I always say, guys, I just like the fast mags. I know you don't lose, you obviously gain reload quickness here and you lose it with the normal kind of mags. But for me, it just feels so slow. I know there's not a big difference, but for me, always use the fast mag. You do lose ADS speed, but yet again, this gun fires so fast, you can afford to have that slight little delay. But we are going to uh, make up for that though, guys, here with the airborne elastic wrap, um, where we gain back that ADS speed gain the flinch resistance but we will again lose some shooting move speed and some sprint to fire time but honestly you don't really notice it this is such a good class setup guys in today's gameplay it is a live commentary can you believe it i know we dropped 97 i think 97 maybe 95 i don't know i've confused myself definitely in the 90s somebody on the other team drops like 105 actually i might have dropped 87 i don't know i've completely lost it but it's a really good gameplay guys somebody else on the other team drops 105 i was farming his team he was farming my team and at points in the game we do kind of cancel each other out i think one of us would have nuked if it weren't for each other on the other team but still a really good gameplay so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you do please do it like button down below if you're brand new around here and want to find your way back for more please do consider subscribing to the channel and as always guys i hope everyone has a great day enjoy the rest of today's gameplay and i'll catch you all in the next one all right we joined okay still nil nil first round i don't think we've missed much to be fair all right ksp on this map all day long light work let's go Hopefully they didn't see me run this way. Yo, there's always one. Let me watch this back. Ah, he must have clocked me. I thought I'd made it and I was going to sneak around the back. Get a few flank kills as they were spawning in. Always seems to be worse. Wherever if I record like live commentary, it's just like nothing ever seems to play into my hands. But if I sit back and just like don't record or don't have the mic on everything good seems to happen always the way oh if i'd killed that guy that would have been ridiculous there is one guy on the other team i feel like i've not seen him yeah there we go enemy harp like what is going on this gun is so good What streak is this guy on? He's 21 and 0. If I get nuked, I can't upload that. Oh, Twenty-five. I've, I'm pretty sure this. Oh, okay, he's died. He's died. He's dead. I have no stim shot. <laughs> what happened there? I don't understand what happened there. 
I don't think my team have got much to give by the looks of it. What? He's shooting my body, but I don't understand how he didn't die there. I literally just died so quickly. That's it. Shot my body now. That's, that's it. Game's done. We're gonna have a fucking problem here. No, he's behind me. That's annoying. All right, we're not millions of miles away from the harp, so hopefully we can get that. Then we'll roll with the hand cannon, and hopefully everything just unfolds from there. We're in the, lead. the only thing I will say about this KSP setup is I feel like it is a little bit on the slower side, which I know with an SMG, especially a burst gun, when you want to get up close and personal, is maybe not ideal. But it's just... It's just such a good gun that I feel like you can get away with it, if that makes sense. Not for the first time I find myself asking how bombs are going down with the half up but Hostile artillery targeting active. I honestly need to know what the rest of my team are doing. Enemy harp, that's not helpful. I pray that he doesn't have an air patrol. Okay, that's his harp gone, that's good. At least. I'm not really going for a nuke, but it's just. I'll be annoyed if my streak ends because of that. Where from? As if he's wrapped all the way back what is he doing there that doesn't make any sense for him to make that play oh this is so annoying i i wasn't going for the nuke as such but like now i'm just getting war machined off spawn it's so annoying how like one player on the other team can just like ruin what was a really good it's still a good game i just mean i just did not expect him to be where he was on the map that's all nice teammate if i knew where he was i'd hunt him down i just I don't want to just keep handing him easy kills. Okay, he's round here, I think. Ah, he's got filled, Mike. Grow up! He's nuked all day long. If he's sitting up there with a filled, Mike, all day long, he's nuked. He was only on a 20 and he was trying that hard. Alright, well at least he's dead. He killed me, I killed him. We're even. I don't, 
I don't know how it's so easy to lose track of streaks. He was just camping so hard. I just thought, like, he's got a field mic. He's got war machine and hand cannon. I just feel like surely he's got more than 20 kills. But, okay. We didn't have to get that desperate. But that's all right. He's dead. So, we move forward. We'll ignore that accuracy right there. Time's against us. Someone just shot at me, but I don't know where from. I am happy for them to win this round because extra time for kills. So I won't chase that bomb site too hard. Is there anybody who's an objective player watching? I'm sorry. Oh my god, how is he defused? I don't know, but we, we move. And then I get shot from across the map. I do so much to stay alive. Oh, there's a harp, isn't there? I can't even make this, like, flank play. He went 87 kills. He went 105. I went 87. If he's not in here or if I'm not in here, it goes better for both of us. But that was still a really good game. The KSP is such a good weapon. Like, the, the gunfights I was winning in that were just were ludicrous at times.